again, everyone. I just wanted to get on here really quick and make another video because I wanted to share with you something that is my number one most asked question. And so that question is, if I give my students their own copy, how can I look at their copy to leave comments or digital stickers or interact with them? So I'm gonna share with you two different ways. The first way I'm gonna talk about is if you're using Google Classroom. And the second way I'm gonna talk about is if you are not using Google Classroom. Okay, so let's look at Google Classroom. There are two different ways that you can access your students' work and they're both pretty easy. So the first way is just to go to your drive, drive.google.com. If you have a Google Classroom, Google Classroom will automatically create a folder for you right on the front page of Drive. It's called Classroom. So find that folder and open it, and then you'll find whichever class you're wanting to go look at. And now you'll see all of the assignments that you have assigned your students. So all you have to do is open up that assignment and you will see all of your students' assignments. Now on mine, you're only seeing one because I don't have a real Google Classroom and I just made my daughter sign up to be my student so I could show you. So I only have one student and here is her work right here. So if I want to see her work, all I have to do is open up this file and it takes me to her work. And if she's in here working on it, I'll see a little icon knowing that she's there. I can see everything that she does in real time. I can insert a comment and I can talk to her. I can maybe add a some kind of digital sticker to let her know that I'm watching her and that she's doing a great job. And so that is one way that you can access your students' work through Drive. You can also access your students' work through Google Classroom. So just go to classroom.google.com and then open up your class and then go to the Classwork tab. Now you'll see all of the assignments that you have assigned. So I wanna check the angles around town. So I'm gonna open that up and then down at the bottom of the pop-up window, there is a button that says View Assignment, so click that. And now again, you'll see all of your students, even though I only have one. And there is a folder right here that gives you access instantly to all of your students. So you can open that folder and then come and view your students. You can assign grades right here. You don't see anything until you hover over it, but if you hover over it, you can see that there's a place for you to give a grade to your students. And so, it couldn't be any easier to find your student's file and go in there and work with your student. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the other way if you didn't use Google Classroom. So if you did not use Google Classroom, you would have had to get a shareable link and then you would have had to change the end of the link to copy and you gave that link to your students so that they have their own copy. What they have to do is share it back with you. Google Classroom does that automatically, but without Google Classroom, the student is responsible for that. But it's also very easy because the only thing they have to do is click this big orange button that says share. And then where it says people, they just need to type in your email address and then click done and it will share it with you. And then you can find it in your drive the same way. The only difference is when you go to your drive, Instead of finding that folder that says classroom, instead you're gonna go over here on the left side where it says shared with me and click that, and then you'll see it right here. So your students' files will all pop up in your shared with me folder. So that's basically, that's it. Google Slides is the perfect way for you to interact with your students, see what they're doing in real time, and communicate with them. So I hope this video made it a little bit more clear on how you can do that. Bye.